you're not restricted to one parameter. You can have lots of parameters. And so I already copied and pasted the print time here. And it goes hour, first, minute, second. And I'm going to combine this print statement into one line. I like to have, uh, if you're going to output one line on the screen, I like to try to do it in one line of code instead of three lines. So it's going to print out hour and then a colon and then minute. Let's change this to a print out. And I'll leave it as a regular print. All right, so I want to do print time. Now you separate them with commas, just like they're separated up here. They have to be integers. So if I try to change this to a double, we're going to have a problem. It's expecting integer. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and run that. Now, because uh, I did not put that new line in, you see that last, it prints the time and then end is on the same line. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this line of code, except go like that. And now we'll run it and the time will appear on its own line. And uh, you can format this so it prints, uh, let's see, 0, 2. Uh, but I'm not going to do that here. But what I do want to do is send it a third variable as a string. And I'm just going to call it AM, PM. I couldn't think of something more clever, but it's going to hold the either whether it's AM or PM. It's a string, so it's got to be quoted. And we'll just do AM and then run this. And we got right there am let's make this number look a little nicer what the heck time is oh yeah 15 that's fine all right so now we get 15 12 am uh well i guess <laughs> in 24 hour time there's no am pm let's fix that uh we'll do 10 there we go that makes more sense uh you can go am pm you can of course put whatever string you want here uh, chicken because i'm hungry uh, now, of course, it doesn't make sense in a time context, but you get the point. You can do capital, whatever you want. All right, let's talk about order now. If I put the 12 at the end, I'm going to have problems because the order is super important. How did it know hours versus minute? Hours is first, minute was second. So if I put the string first, uh, or the string second, and then the uh, integer third, that's going to be a problem because... It's right here, expecting integer. And it says right there, string cannot be converted to int. So let's undo a couple times. And let's go ahead and change the order. We'll go 12, 10, and run it. And you see that 12 became the hour, 10 became the minute. So the order is super important. Uh, stack diagrams. Uh, can be useful. I'm not going to go through all that, but it's basically how to look at the uh, flow of your code. Uh, we're not going to cover too much into math. Uh, we'll do a little bit, uh, but we will look a little bit more at return values. They're super important.